Welcome to Behind the Scenes, The Making of Sock Wars, a behind the scenes look of chapter one of my Star Wars fan film. My name is Christian. Let's start at the beginning. The 20th Century Socks logo is made out of cardboard, foam poster board, and cardstock paper. There you can see I just kind of painted it and glued it together with hot glue and added whatever those pieces are, painted it, and then we got some Photoshop work. The lights were animated in Apple Motion to mimic the movie. Next, the Star Wars logo and the scrolling text generated by the editing program. We pan down to Tatooine. The planet is actually a bouncy ball brought into Photoshop, tinted brown, and squished. Just add other planets, stars, lasers, and spaceships. The blockade runner, the white spaceship in the foreground, is made from egg carton, paper towel tubes, Q-tips, cardboard, bottle caps, and a blue barrel full of monkeys all put together with hot glue. Spray painted it white and finally detailed it with red and black Sharpie markers. Next up is the Star Destroyer, which I made out of a pizza box. Same thing, X-Acto knives and loads of hot glue. The shield generators are crafted out of paper in the shape of a hexagonal dodecahedron. <laughs> to finish, it's covered with blue construction paper and detailed with black Sharpies. The spaceships are then suspended by fishing wire and filmed in front of a green screen. Later in the computer, the green color is replaced by a star field. I also had to use animated masks to get rid of parts of the background that I didn't need and added a stabilized filter. I'm also using a camera dolly that I made out of skateboard wheels and PVC piping. The next step is to frame by frame animate the lasers in flash. Look at me go. When I'm done, I render the laser layer only. We add a glow to the lasers and we layer that laser layer over the green screen spaceship layers. And those are layered over the background layer, which is still a bouncy ball. And then we add fire. Now kids, don't try this at home, but powdered dairy creamer blown through a straw over top of candle makes a cool fire effect. That's the face of a man who knows what it takes to get to the filming stage. Before I started building the hallways of the blockade runner, I planned them out in miniature paper uh, miniatures. The actual sock puppet size hallways are foam inside Insulation. With add-ons of poster board, plastic tray doorway trimmings, buttons and thumbtacks and all kinds of good stuff. I was able to rearrange these pieces to create any hallway shot I needed. The ceiling is poster board and shower curtains. Here's an outside look at the setup of the sets. Wires and duct tape and clamps, and more duct tape. Now the special ingredient are puppets. But we'll get to that at another time in a different video. Now I'm going to break down the elements and techniques I use in the shot. We have a hallway, five rebel soldiers, and at the end a stormtrooper entering the foreground. One. In the background, I got two puppets on a rig and one in my hand. Two. To place the background on the green screen. Add floor elements and puppet. Three. Move the green screen further up the hallway. Add puppet. Four. Move the green screen up a little bit more. And just add stormtrooper. The green screen is just green paper. Filming it this way allows the lighting on the puppet to be consistent instead of filming it separately. Once again, frame by frame animated lasers. And smoke. You put dry ice and hot water in a container with a tube coming and out. And you put it on a green screen. You put all these layers together. Smoke. Lasers. Different layers of the background with puppets. Applying the green screen. Chroma key effects. And 50 shots like that later, your face will look like mine from earlier in the video. Here's where I almost burnt down the garage. That's pretty good. Here's me and my lovely wife trying to both puppeteer inside the small puppet hallway. I think I just hit the set. <laughs> It wasn't working out. Before I had access to reference the movie while I was filming, I would record audio cues for myself as a guide. Thanks for watching. You can check out other videos like this on my Sock Wars movie channel. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.